So phase changing materials is a class of material. When they switch from an amorphous state to a crystalline state, their optical property dramatically changes. So it's actually not a new material. We did not invent this. If you look at the Blu-ray, CD, and DVDs, they actually build out of phase changing materials. But one big challenge of using this material for optics is that the conventional phase changing materials, they are optically opaque. So it means that you try to send light through them, you lose most of it. Right? It's not a problem for Blu-ray DVDs because you only rely on reflection of light. But for phone devices, that causes a lot of excess loss. So our group actually developed, uh, I would say, the first transparent phase changing materials. So that's why we are now trying to implement these materials into a lot of reconfigurable or reprogrammable photonic devices. That after fabrication, we can actually redefine this function to uh, adapt to different applications. Sure. So one interesting part is actually combine these phase changing materials with the metal surface I talked about previously. So uh, let's think of a conventional reconfigurable optical device. Let's say an optical zoom lens. Right? So if you look at the camera, the way you can achieve optical zoom is that you actually mechanically move the lens along so they can change optical magnification. But again, they increase the size, footprint, cost, it becomes very expensive, right? So uh, in our case, if we have a phase in the material, we can then modulate the optical properties of the antenna so we can change optical zoom without any mechanical moving parts. And that's something we're actually working towards right now. Okay. So the combinatorial deposition machine is acquired uh, by our collaborators at Lincoln Labs. So it's a machine that allows you to deposit a wide range of material compositions within one single run. So the main idea there is that we can now do a very high th throughput screening of a different composition of phase changing materials, or different flavors of the materials. So uh, by changing the chemistry, we can optimize the properties. For example, some can switch very, very fast. Some achieve very low optical loss. And some allows you to give you very large optical contrast. If we were to do this in a traditional way, you have to do one deposition for each of this specific flavor of materials. But now we can do that in one single deposition. We can get, say, 25 or 20 different compositions. So this significantly expedites the material discovery process.